So this is how just print will look like uh, when you first open it. Um, so you just click uh, sign in or sign up. Um, it should be very straightforward. Um, so here I'm going to sign in with my credential. Um, and you're going to land at the, the familiar orchestralizer uh, landing page. Um, but what's special about just print is that we introduce the um, AI here at this chat uh, window. So usually uh, when you just got started, um, you have the default printer and default filament. You want to set it up to, um, uh, you want to add a printer to a, um, you know, here I'm just using a generic uh, clipper printer as an example, but you want to select your own printer um, here, you know, whatever that you are using. Uh, we have um, all the um, printers that Orchestrizer also support. So here I'm gonna just use the um, uh, uh, generic clipper printer and then, well, obviously, you may want to also add filament if you have a, a special filament. Otherwise, uh, I I often just stick with the generic filaments as well. So, um, well, you know, the and you can also come here to change filaments. Like for example, uh, here I hey I'm using generic PLA. You can do that. The next step will be to add a uh, model to uh, this size just print. So like I'm adding a uh, model here, you can close it, that's okay. We open it, the conversation will still be there. Like for example, I just added this uh, model in just print. And then if I open here, I, you will see that uh, just print actually noticed that, you know, a new model has been added to the plate. So here, you know, is where the interesting things start. You have a few options here. You know, first of all, just print uh, will try to uh, have a good guess on what you want to do. Like for example, this one, uh, it has overhand. So I guess that, hey, you may want to enable support or you may want to reorient uh, the model. Um, you have other, uh, another interesting option is that there are some uh, common printing prompt, which is basically like how other users often find this helpful when it comes to how to slice and print this model. Uh, you can do just the standard print or Drop quality, you know, strong parts, um, you know, just a few options. We're probably going to add more in the future. Um, but the most interesting thing is do your magic here. Uh, so basically here is to have the AI to try to guess what this model is and how to slice it. Uh, for example, like here, uh, the AI actually guessed that this is a deer sculpture. Um, and then it would, um, and then what um, that the recommendation from the AI include the frame, uh, etc. So you have a few options here again. You can just say, oh, you know, I trust you. Looks good to me. Just go ahead. Or you can uh, look like you know you say, hey, you're completely wrong. I uh, I will do that myself. Or you can modify whatever the AI has recommended. So here I'll just uh, go simple and say, looks good to me. And then the AI will uh, uh, try to. Um, come up with a slicing strategy based on uh, whatever that we say here. Um, for example, in this case, as you can see that the print is enabled, uh, support is enabled, the print width is five. Um, then here you can just say, hey, slice with the current settings, or you know, you can actually, you know, at any moment of time, you can type your own uh, messages here to interact with the AI. For example, here, if you say that, well, actually, uh, I don't feel like with the print here, you can just say, uh, I actually don't need the brim. Remove it. Um, and the AI will hopefully uh, do the right thing um, as you wish. Uh, okay, so here, here we go. Like the uh, the brim is now no brim, and but support is still enabled. And uh, here I'm going to show you um, a few other ways uh, how you can use just print uh, the AI part in particular. Um, for example, we say, hey, let's start over. Um, the, uh, you can just go into the common print um, prompt. Uh, if you want to say, hey, I want to uh, print a fast print and drop quality is okay, you, you press it here. And then after a few seconds, the AI will come up with a, uh, a way, will come up with the uh, slicing parameters that um, this robot believes that will fit your need, which is a fast print the best. In this case, uh, select the uh, 0 0.25 millimeter 
drop just a preset and then out the wall, um, uh, speed up a little bit. Um, also, I want to bring uh, your uh, to your attention that all these changes are uh, reflected here. So basically, the settings, the traditional way of setting things in Organizer, are in sync with what the AI is doing here. Like for example, as you can see, this preset has been set to 0 0.24 millimeter, uh, and then the outer wall here, I'm pretty sure it's also modified. As you can see, that it's modified somewhere. And because I, yeah, I haven't turned on the advance. Now I turn on the advance, you can see that the outer wall is actually set to uh, increase uh, accordingly to 150. So from here, you can even uh, give more uh, information to the AI so that it can help you better. Like for example, here you can say that, uh, well, I'm actually afraid that uh, this uh, print may not stick to the plate. Um, help me slice it in a way that it can um, it has better uh, bet adhesion I can't spell um, so let's see what the AI will come up with actually I've never tried this prompt myself just you know first time uh, uh, I'm myself pretty curious to see what they come up will come up with uh, well uh, at the first glance it looks pretty reasonable Oh, uh, by the way, you can click these things to reveal more because, uh, you know, it's um, by default, it hides um, the details to make this user interface slightly easier to read. So for example, here, uh, it makes a brink width a little bit wider, which makes sense. Make it, uh, it, it'll result in a better, better adhesion. Um, initial print heights, you know, lower the initial print layer speed. I actually don't know why it increases the um, Initial print height maybe has a good reason. I don't know. Sometimes the AI is smarter than I am. Uh, yeah, the uh, that's probably about it. Um, if you, like like I said, you can just be very inventive about what you want to type here and see what AI will do with it. Okay, so I hope you have fun with JustPrint.